Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Unique Divination at Urban Mystic Radio. I just put out a video about timing technique, techniques in tarot. I hope that it is beneficial to you. And we're going to get into something a little bit more grown up -y. Um, This is going to be the topic of discussion. If you see here, we've got sex and tarot, sex and tarot. So this video is going to be about um, the tarot for sexuality. And I found this interesting website, um, the same person that I'm going to be doing a video on as far as using tarot cards to predict down to the hour, days and hours. Um, his name is Paul Hughes Barlow. He's a clairvoyant healer therapist, and I found this information interesting, okay? And so, basically, I'm just going to read the, the website. It's on his actual website, Par, Paul Hughes Barlow. That's the website, okay? And so, I'm going to begin to read. Tarot and sexuality. Sexuality is all over the tarot. Let's face it, tarot readings are for adults. The main subjects in a reading revolve around relationships, money, work, and travel. Clients want to know about their love life in particular, and sometimes the questions are direct. The major arcana are the best for exploring sexuality, particularly when combined with several courts who may represent the client and the person they are interested in. As in every tarot reading, context is paramount. For some women, knowing that they are going to meet a gentleman friend is as far as the reader needs to go. Others want more details. These are the ones that push for information. I remember a woman in a new relationship asking about her lover. Most prominent was the devil, so I casually mentioned bondage. Her eyes lit up and, and, and missed it over in reverie of her expectations. This list is not exhaustive, nor is it guaranteed right in every situation. Some of the practices are illegal depending on where you live. It is not the purpose of the tarot reader to advocate any of these practices either. The list is created entirely without any reference to the tree of life using my imagination. I have not used all the suggestions in a reading. I have not defined the divinatory meanings in terms of reversals. It is up to you to decide if you need reversals to fine-tune your interpretation. If you have any suggestions or enhancements, please contact me. That's as far as his website. Um, anything that you want to add under, you know, what I'm getting ready to read, just, just comment below. Okay. And just like he said, pretty much um, I'm going to interject here, um, as I mentioned in the last video, in, intuition, right? Overall, intuitively what do you feel? And you have to realize that as a, as a tarot reader, um, everything has a general meaning. And then like the next level is your deck because all the imagery on decks are different depending on your deck, what kind of deck you have. And so lastly, you would, um, you would involve your intuitive skills, right? Um, so let me go into it. The Fool. The Fool stands for losing virginity, a new lover who takes you to new levels of sexuality and spirituality, going beyond one sexual experience into new areas. New or original sexual experiences, an exciting or unpredictable lover. Second, Magus. Reading or writing about sex, letters, email, texting a lover, telephone sex bisexuality, publishing a book on sexuality. The high priestess, fluctuation in sexual energy, traveling long distance to meet a sexual partner, using intercourse to explore spiritually, renunciation of sex, practicing abstinence. The empress, 
Passionate indulgence. Sex for procreation, creativity, or with a married or status woman. Pregnancy. The emperor. Sex with an older partner, an employer, politician, military person, or status individual, or that involves domination or strict rules. Dressing up in uniform, sexuality to gain promotion, laying down the law or strict rules on sexuality, parental advice. The irophant or erophant. Sex within marriage or teaching an inexperienced partner or a religious person, priest. Conventional, unadventurous, perfunctory, or passionless sex. Proposal of marriage, wife swapping, religious advice on love and sexuality. The lovers, exploring between lovers, lovers who are very similar in outlook, interests, lovers who are neighbors, writing letters, emails, texting, or phoning a lover, love between siblings, news about a lover. Chariot, dominating or controlling, sex on some form of transport, the Mile High Club, sexual obsession with a parent, dogging, I don't know what that means, um, <laughs> lust, a passionate love affair, bestiality, sex magic, with royalty or to raise one's status, taking risks. An orgy. Lust is also the strength card. The strength card. Um, looking here, the imagery that he's using, he's using a Thoth deck, which is a very um, intricate deck. So, but yeah, lust is strength. The hermit, a secret lover, masturbation, renunciation, a secret passion or obsession for someone, secrets, feeling alone. Affair with a work colleague. Counseling. Fortune. Or wheel of fortune. Sex for political gain. With or between politicians or a wealthy or powerful person. A change in partner. A whirlwind romance. Adjustment. Or the justice card. A legal marriage. Looking for an aesthetically pleasing or beautiful playmate. That's some Libras. Um, <laughs> uh, the Justice card is actually the Libra card. That's why I say that. Um, sex with a lawyer, solicitor, judge, older partner, or foreigner. The legal aspects of sexuality. Divorce. Demanding conjugal rights. Finding a lover at a wedding or legal establishment. The hanged man. Suffering in silence, an abusive relationship, making sacrifices for a partner, fruitless waiting for the desired person to come into one's life, loss, death of a partner, abortion, death card, death of a partner, an intense relationship, sex for money or in secret places, sexual disease, discovering secrets. Also, um... I would associate sexual diseases with the devil card as well because um, the devil kind of signifies vices and, and drugs and things of that nature. So to me, um, I would I would uh, I would attribute sexual diseases to the devil card. Art or temperance. Seeing sex as a higher or spiritual calling or with a guru. Holiday romances or a foreign partner. Complicated sexual relationship involving several people. The inability to manage or cope with a relationship. Filming or photographing pornography. The tower. A dominating, violent, oppressive, or abusive, or disintegrating relationship. Sex with someone in the military. Discovering shocking aspects to a partner's sexuality. Realizing a partner is not faithful. Scandal in high places. The devil. An intense or suffocating relationship. Bondage. A corporate or business love affair. The sex industry. A brothel. Desire for domination or subjugation. Being tied up. Obsession with one's boss or superior. And again, I personally would add sexually transmitted diseases here. The star. Aspirational sex, 
seeing someone as a friend and not a lover, desiring a love affair with a friend or acquaintance, cybersex, unconventional relationships, flirting, finding a lover at a social event, an orgy, homosexuality, people with a similar similar sexual outlook, fetish, fetishist, fetish party, the sun, sex with a rich or famous person for publicity and fame. Um, to bring this to real time, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, so his little jump off as she was getting a tarot, a tarot, um, you know, having a tarot session, and the reader pulled the sun card, you know. The moon, sexual fantasies or phobias, confusion about relationships, infidelity, ambiguous sexuality, sex magic. Judgment or the eon, making a decision on a relationship and ability to deal with issues in a relationship, universe or the world, end of a love affair, meeting one's desire, the object of one's obsession, anal sex, love affair on holiday or a foreign country. Okay, so that concludes this. Um, Please comment below any comments with your takes on these things. If you have anything to check, if you have any more um, correspondence to the major arcana dealing with sexuality that you would like to add, please do. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. Don't forget to check out my website, www.urbanmystic.com. Um, check out my shop. Um, check out the area for the Coven of the Sacred Flame sign up it's a membership um two levels uh and just you know we're a magical family um everyone in the coven is protected i do monthly rituals abundance and banishing spells for the coven members every month under the full moon we have a full moon call we have a meditation on that call um, and then we have an exclusive platform for those um you know, who want to learn. We have a library filled with over 500 PDFs. Um, email me, uniquedivination at gmail.com if you want to inquire about the coven. And um, you guys will be hearing from me shortly. Alrighty, take care.